everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're doing a highly requested mod that I'm a bit behind on and that is Sodium. This is almost like an Optifine competitor. And as you can see here, this is taking a Minecraft version from 35 FPS to 400 FPS. And they even down here have some different processors listed and what kind of FPS boost they've been able to get out of them. For example, from 37 to 69 FPS on an i5-7200 and on things like newer, nicer, higher end processors, you can go from things like on a Ryzen 5 2600 from 133 FPS to over 586. One thing that blows my mind, by the way, on a Raspberry Pi going from 17 to 36 FPS. Over 30 FPS on a Raspberry Pi playing actual Minecraft. Not Pi Minecraft, actual Minecraft. Absolutely incredible, and it does go into some of the features here. By the way, you can find this at the second link down below, and uh, we're going to be going here to download this mod once we are, uh, you know, to that part of the video. But first of all, we do have a our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Dosing. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much that we all start our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Dosing. That's the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Sodium installed. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is basically the official Sodium download page on CurseForge. My suspicion is we are going to be writing an article for this, and if so, it will take you to a site that looks like this, and then you'll scroll down and click on the yellow download button. The upside is you'll be able to have a lot more information here on how to install the mod, so it's a win-win kind of in that way. Nevertheless, though, once you're here, come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you find Minecraft 1.18. Then you'll find Sodium MC 1.18. Click on the orange download button to the right of this to start the download. After a few seconds, it will download on Google Chrome in the bottom left or on Mozilla Firefox in the center of your screen. So on the bottom left of Google Chrome, we can simply hit keep. On the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, though, go ahead and save the file. Now we can go ahead and move on to downloading the mod loader this uses, which is Fabric. That's in contrast to Optifine, which allows for you know, installation without any mod loader or with Forge. If Sodium wants some advice, not to say they care what me, a random YouTuber, thinks, you need to launch a standalone version, because if you do, you could rival Optifine. Just saying. Anyway, let's go ahead and get Fabric. You want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Fabric. Once you're here, scroll down and click on the Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. Once you're here, we're going to click on Download Universal Jar. You might be wondering why we're clicking on Download Universal instead of Download for Windows. That's because the jar is going to allow us to install other mods and things like that in the future a lot easier because all the files are going to be correct once you've got the jar installed. So let's go ahead and download the Universal Jar. It'll down on the bottom left. You may need to keep it on Google. Google Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox just like you had to do with Sodium. We can now go ahead and minimize our browser and we need to get these files to our desktop to be able to use them and just because it's easier to use them from the desktop. To do this you want to click the little Windows icon top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen or if you're on Windows 11, center of your screen and yes this will 100% work if you're on Windows 11. Go ahead and click on that little Windows icon, type in downloads, you have this downloads file folder here, open that up and in here you'll find Fabric and Sodium. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Fabric and Sodium are on your desktop we're going to be starting off with Fabric. Fabric. To do that, you want to go ahead and right click on it. And by the way, if these files look different than mine, just keep watching. We're going to fix it. But go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java. If you don't have Java, just keep watching. We're going to fix it. But if you do have Java, click on it and click OK. Now, if this opens right here, the Fabric installer, you're good. You can skip forward a little bit in the video. But if it doesn't, we need to fix some things. And specifically, if you were able to open this and it just kind of failed, it's like a black screen, or if you click install and it doesn't work, we're going to show you how to fix all that. So, nevertheless, first and foremost, most of what I just said, except the clicking install part, is fixed with Java. Specifically, Java 17. You need to download and install Java 17 from our website. Link in the description down below. It goes through everything here. It shows you how to download it, shows you how to install it, and then shows you how to basically get it working so you can use it with Minecraft. It's awesome. Go through everything here, go through this tutorial and you'll be good to go. Now some of you will still need to run the jar fix. Basically if your icons still look weird after downloading Java, that's because you need to link those files to Java and to do that you're going to use the jar fix. This is in the description down below. Run it if you're still having issues after downloading Java and then you'll be good to go. Make sure you download Java first because jar fix is useless if you don't download Java 17. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser and if we go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK, it will open up the Fabric installer. Unless if it doesn't. If you've downloaded Java 17 and it still doesn't open the Fabric installer, you need to go to your apps and features to click on the little Windows icon, type apps and features, go in here and find Java, right? Find the version of Java that isn't Java 17, right? So if we scroll down here, I will have Java 17, but you may not just have Java 17. You might have a, another version as well. I'm 
blanking on where this is at. Hold on. So there it is for me, a Java Development Kit 17. If you have anything else but that, go ahead and click uninstall on it, but you want to make sure Java 17 is there. Now you should be able to open up the Fabric Installer, so we can go ahead and click on install right here, making sure 1.18.1 is selected. At this point, it will go ahead, successfully install Fabric right like so, unless you've not played Minecraft 1.18.1 yet. If you've not went and played Minecraft 1.18.1 yet, go do that, come back, and it will work. We can now close out of the Fabric Installer and delete it from our desktop. Let's go ahead and install Sodium. To do this, you want to click on the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. Click on that Windows icon and type in Run. You have this Run app. Go ahead and open that up. And in this Run app, you want to type percent sign, app data percent sign, percent, app data percent, exactly like that, and then hit Enter. When you hit Enter, it's going to take you here where you're going to have .minecraft. Open up the .minecraft folder, and then you'll have this Mods folder. If you don't have a Mods folder, we'll just create one. So we're going to right-click, create a new folder, and title this folder Mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and open up your mods folder, and then you want to take Sodium and drag and drop it into this mods folder. By the way, if you have other mods in here, they may cause issues when you do launch up Minecraft with Sodium, so you might want to delete these if you do have issues. Keep in mind, though, if you delete them, it's harder to get them back, so you, you could also just, like, drag into your desktop, move them out of this folder for now. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Once we've opened up the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that we have Fabric Installer selected as to what we're going to be playing. So, Fabric 1.18.1. I'll show you what I mean here in one second after the Minecraft launcher is open. So, as you can see, Fabric Loader 1.18.1 automatically selected for me. Yours probably won't say play offline. I've been having internet issues of the day I'm recording this, so that's why mine says that. Sorry about that. But nevertheless, we want to go ahead and make sure that this Fabric loader is selected right here. If it's not, click on this little arrow and then select it from this list. And if it's not in that list, go ahead and click on installations up here at the top. Then you want to make sure modded on the right hand side is checked. As you can see, uh, modded uh, unchecked, fabric disappears. Check on modded and fabric reappears right like so. Click play and click play again. However, if you still don't have fabric 1.18.1 here, what you want to do is click on new installation. Then you want to name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible 1.18.1 grief protected survival and skyblock server. It's an amazing server for you and your friends to come play survival and skyblock on. So come play with us. Playdowbreakdowncraft.com is the IP and I cannot wait to see you online. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and then click on the version drop down box and we want to select release fabric loader 1.18.1. Mine's up here at the top but you may have to scroll down even all the way to the bottom to find yours. Once you've got this, we can then go ahead and click create in the bottom right but I'm going to change resolution so we can see once we get in game. Finally, click that green create button in the bottom right and you have this new or playdowbreakdowncraft.com profile with fabric loader 1.18.1 under it. That's the most important part. Hover over this and click the green play button. You're thinking again this warning saying you are playing modded Minecraft. So you know what you're doing because, well, you are using this video and we know what we're doing. So go ahead and click the green play button. And now Minecraft 1.18.1 is going to open up with Sodium installed. It's that quick, that easy to get Sodium. And yeah, at this point, you can start seeing the benefits of Sodium. We'll jump into settings and kind of show you around there just a hair. But overall, Sodium is set up. So yeah, that's kind of that. Normally, I would do a jump cut here, but I don't want to because uh, the mod's loading up. And I just want you to be confident that everything you see is working as it should and that we're not doing any tricks or anything like that. It's working, right? It's going through. So at this point, I'll tell you about our server. Put it up breakdowncraft.com. We got Quest. We've got incredible survival opportunities over there, including aquatic survival, which has an amazing slash shop based economy, medieval survival, player based economy. We're in game now. Now let's go ahead and go into these options. And by the way, there it is. Play it up breakdowncraft.com. Let's go ahead and click on options and then video settings. And here is Sodium's video settings. You can see it laid out completely different than Optifine and other video settings are, but you've got your render distance simulation distance and a lot of other settings here and what's cool is just like Optifine you can hover over these and see them. So as you can see, you've got fast, fancy, fabulous graphics, all of that stuff. As a general rule of thumb, if something can be turned off, it should. If something can't be turned off, it should be set to fast, right? It's pretty simple. For example, clouds, those can be turned off, whereas graphics can be turned fast. So nevertheless, that is how you can do that. All of this is in here. One thing that I don't think Sodium has yet is shaders. So you'll have to use another shaders mod to work with Sodium. And then once you've got that, those two can work together. But nevertheless, there you have it. If you have any questions about how to get Sodium in Minecraft 1.18.1. Let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.